One day, Thomas was taking any trouble to Proven's gate. They were in need of repairs. Thomas had never liked leaving Annie and Clarabelle. Don't worry, my friend. We will take good care of them. But the nurse is, you don't need to worry about them, as we will take care of them. Alright, Victor. Just a den arrived with three new coaches. The names that you met, Diana and Tanya, and they were from the Blue Mower Inn, where Stepney works. Also, be careful with them. They were pretty troublesome. They tried to hold me back when I was trying to move them. I'll be extra careful with them. Don't worry. And Thomas passed away, unaware that his troubles were about to start. How do we have here? It's Brewster! I'm not Brewster, I'm Thomas! Well, sorry Brewster, uh, I mean Tommy. It's not Tommy, it's Thomas! Ugh! Thomas survived the fact that the votes were getting worse. What's so funny, you lot? Now come on! Thomas tried to move, but he couldn't. Something was wrong. Uh, Thomas? I think something is wrong. That's because we put our brakes on just to mess with him! Well, that wasn't funny! Soon the coaches put the brakes off and Thomas steamed across the way. Good thing I mean Clarabo are much better ahead compared to this one. When he steamed into Trial Station, Tiger Moth, the biplane, was there. Oh hey Thomas, did you finally get rid of Annie and Clarabelle? No. These coaches are temporary. And in Clarable are just being mended. Well, maybe the fact controller might end up selling them for scrap and let them become your coaches instead. Thomas just ignored him and puffed away. Soon Thomas arrived at Ellswood Station. Henry was waiting. Hello, Thomas. Why aren't you pulling any in Clarabelle? Because they're away being mended, so I have to put up with this naughty lot. Hmm. Like how Larry came to Soto when I was away at crew. There was also a B12 named Alfred who was temporarily number three while I was gone. Huh. <laughs> from what I heard from the others, he was very boastful over the fact he was named after Alfred Jovington. A bit, yeah. Just then, the guards blew his whistle and Thomas steamed away. See you later, Thomas. But 
When he got to a hill, the coaches had a very naughty idea. When Thomas was nearly at the top, they broke away. Oh, come on now! <laughs> Catch us if you can! Then there was trouble. The person was coming down the same track as him. Percy! Look out! Oh no! Frankly, the guard put on the brakes just in time. I'm so sorry, Percy! I thought it'd be a good idea to break away from me! That could have caused a serious accident! The fact the troll is most annoyed. You three are nothing but trouble. When I first brought you, I thought you would be well behaved. But no! When Annie and Farrell are back to the woods, you will stay in the yards until I can trust you again. Yes, sir! When Thomas got back to the sheds, he was glad to be away from Tan Yellow, Jeanette, and Diana. Hey, Thomas. Oh, hey, Toby. I had to put up with those three troublesome coaches today. Annie and Clarabelle were being mended, you see. They caused a lot of trouble for me. <laughs> and I'm just glad I don't have to work with them again. I know that feeling too when I had to put up with Hannah when Henrietta was at the works. But they might regret their actions and see what they did was wrong. When Annie and Clarabelle came back from the works, Thomas was very happy to have them back. But he couldn't help them. Sorry, Jeanette, Diana, and Tanya. Hello, you three. Hey there, long you in a big apology. We are very sorry for everything we did, along with nearly injuring the passengers yesterday. We only wanted to have some fun, but it led us into getting in trouble and we worried that the fat and fall won't let us out again. We promise that we'll never do something like that ever again. Apology accepted. When Jeanette, Diana and Tanya were let out again, they had changed their ways and were now much better coaches. They are still cheeky to the other angels, but now they know better than to cause confusion and delay. 